I'll back at it again. I figured I'd show you all this little charger that I found. I've been looking for one that was completely adjustable. Uh, voltage and amps. So I found, uh, found one that works good. So this is the charger. He says 12 to 24 volt. That is WD-315 model number. Uh, the instructions could be a little bit better. So I'll do a quick of how to use it. So here's the actual charge controller. You can see it's got voltage from 12 to 30 volts. And then your amps are up to 15 amps. And then just an on-off switch. And this is your digital display for the voltage and then the amps. So you're going to start out with not attached to the battery. I've got my, my negative attached. Positive is just over here on the plastic on the housing. So you're going to turn it on. And you'll see the voltage starts all the way down at 9 volts. And I'm going to want, for this battery type, this is LTO battery, I'm going to charge it at 14. 14.1. So 14.1. And then you're going to attach the positive to the battery so you can see the voltage is now showing what the battery is actually sitting at and now we're going to set our amps which I'm going to charge it at 10 amps Ten, ten point three, close enough and now it is charging. We'll turn our battery on just to see what it looks like. 13.1. This one will go up to about 13.9. So we'll let it charge. Anyway, that's all it is to it. Uh, this runs a little bit over 100 bucks, but I like it because it's it's pretty compact. You know, this is here's my hand. I'll, and it, it's kind of loud, you know, the fan's loud, so you're not going to probably want it in the house where you have to listen to it, but it's good for the garage. Um, the reviews were good on it. That's another reason I purchased this one. If you're interested in a decent charger, I'll have a link in the description on this for this particular one. And, you know, any purchase will help the channel out financially, so it's appreciated. Uh, there will be no upcharge if you use the link to purchase this so you can see the voltage is is climbing and the amps are going down so when the amps go to zero it's all zeros across here the battery's charged and the voltage should be at what you set the voltage for originally before you attached it to the battery so that's that's how it works and then the fan will stay on even once it's charged because it's going to keep trickle charging it. So to turn it off, you'll, you'll turn the off switch off and then disconnect one, one of the uh, terminals. Negative or positive doesn't matter and it'll shut off completely. Anyway, that's the charger I'm, I'm going to be using to charge my batteries. Like I said, it's, it's easy to use. It... Um, is adjustable completely adjustable and I like that so well that's all I have I'll talk to you on the next one